Here, a Raspberry Pi Zero is attached to a microscope and is used as a USB webcam connected to a computer. In this arrangement, a Raspberry Pi HQ camera module, which is a 12 megapixel sensor, is attached to a Raspberry Pi Zero. Microscopes purchased with the option to fit a camera are equipped with a C lens mounting. The Raspberry Pi HQ camera module, which is purchased without a lens, will connect to a C lens mounting. That is why this setup works. The lens mounting that is equipped on the microscope has a little bit of lens in it such that it acts like an eyepiece lens. The image the Raspberry Pi sees is very much what you would see with the eyepiece lens, but with a slightly smaller field of view. Running on the Raspberry Pi Zero is the Show Me Webcam embedded Linux system that is downloaded from the internet and flashed to the Raspberry Pi Zero micro SD card. This system results in the USB output of the Raspberry Pi Zero to be seen as a USB connected webcam from a USB connected computer. The system also allows for a serial connection to the Raspberry Pi to change image settings. In this setup, a Pi Hut camera attachment plate is being used. A different setup that uses a hard Pi Zero case is planned to replace this setup. Here we have the microscope turned on, the computer turned on, but we do not have the setup connected to the computer yet. We have the cord ready, and now we'll plug in the USB connector. And now the system is booting. Initially, you get one LED flash, and then you wait for three quick flashes. There they are. And now that camera system is running. We have the system booted, and we have the camera plugged into the computer, and we will now demonstrate the system using Photo Booth. First, we'll run Photo Booth. And the image that comes up is actually the image from the camera because it has remembered the Pi webcam as the camera selection. Now with Photo Booth, you can take both still pictures and video pictures with this control right here. Now to run the camera control, we need to start a terminal session. And then we type in a specific command that shows us what devices are connected to the USB. And we're looking for the bottom one. And we will be next typing in a command that makes a connection to the device. And we will see a login. And we we'll log in as root with password as root. Those are the defaults for an, an embedded Linux system. The pound sign is an indication that we're looking at the prompt. And now we want to run the camera control program that's on the system. So we'll type that in now. And that is the camera control system. This is a screenshot of the program. It allows you to change image settings. And here you, you operate using keystrokes and a couple of settings will be demonstrated. That's the flip. That's another flip in the other direction. One thing that you should know is that Photo Booth shows you a mirror image of the image, but when you actually save the video or the still picture, it'll be exactly flipped from what you see. It'll be what you see in the microscope. Don't be fooled and change the horizontal flip to make it appear like the eyepiece because when you save the image, it'll be flipped. But if you are in a presentation, let's say you're in Zoom and you're sharing the image from Photo Booth, then you do want to use the image control to flip the image so that what is being shared is exactly what you see on your screen. Now, if you actually speed this video up, this demonstration, you'll see those critters moving around. They're going so slowly that you really don't see them at, at normal speed. Photo Booth has this selector here for selecting the camera. QuickTime Player does not. This next bit of sequence will show you how to select a camera in that. When you have QuickTime Player running, select New Moving Recording, and then you'll get this control, and right next to that red dot is a little carrot. You press on that, and that's the menu selection for the camera.
The following shows how you can recover from a couple of situations you can get yourself into that arise from disrupting the communication to the camera system. For example, here is the camera control shown running in the serial connection on terminal. If I were to disrupt that connection, and you can see that's happened because of the prompts have changed, and then I reinstate that serial connection, that program on the Raspberry Pi is still running. It never knew anything had happened. And so it's out of sync with whatever you're trying to type in. And if you type in a Q, the letter Q, that quits that application and you know that you've got the system pi prompt back because the pound sign is there. So you could run the control camera line again. Now that's one thing that can happen. Another thing is let's say you quit out of this and you interrupted the terminal session to the pi. And then you, let's say you start a new session and try to make the connection and log in. Everything will look just fine from the Raspberry Pi Zero side. However, you will notice that even though you have the camera selected properly, that your image is not correct, is not live. And you can always tell that by reviewing the LED on the top of the Raspberry Pi. It's not lit. So the solution to that is you close out the application photo booth and start it up again. And you'll see the image is black and then it immediately shows the live camera view now. It remembered what camera you had selected and look at the top of the Pi, you'll see the LED is lit. That LED always lights up when a computer is receiving a video image. Another situation you might find yourself in is you have the webcam plugged in and now you started photo booth. You see an image, it may or may not be live, and then you switch over to the terminal and you want to make your connection and you end up getting this black line on the bottom. So you're not able to make your serial connection to the Pi. The solution to this is to unplug it at the USB port on the computer and plug it back in and wait for it to reboot. That just takes a little while and then you'll be able to make your connection and you log in like normal and you run your camera control. However, because you had disrupted the connection while you had photo booth running, it may not have reestablished the live webcam, which case this, you close out photo booth and restart it and the black screen going to the image tells you right away that you are live and if you looked and you would see the led lit at this point and everything is now running and you can uh, do what you want